believe it. It's actually last week. I was, I was slipping and sliding on the sidewalk. Now I've got the AC on. I'm wearing a summer hat. Welcome to mid-latitude weather, where we say, if you don't like the weather, wait a minute. So, those formalities out of the way. I'd like to talk about touch and boundaries today. And I, I hope helpful message and pro, an episode of Brother Mark Turner Syndrome Butterflies in Life and I don't know it may be only some men's or there may have been some misunderstandings but hey anybody knows me if I'm wrong I, I, I'm quick to, to correct it also anybody who knows that anytime I meet a bubble yeah, butterfly. Did you know we're dealing with butterflies? Gee, okay. Oh uh, well, we'll put we'll put that in the we'll put that we'll put that in my edit edit of bloopers. Anyway, that aside. But anybody who knows me that when I meet a TS sister uh, in in the public, you know, we're just we're meeting for coffee or lunch or or we're meeting at a TS event. They know they they'll know me here. See say something to this effect anytime time meet at an event because I learned the hard way. So hey, I'll say that I'd say that to your sister. You know, you, at any time if you don't feel comfortable, you are more than welcome to to cut this to cut this event short and leave it and leave it any time you want. If you don't feel safe, I don't feel safe, and. A lot of butterflies do do distinctly remember my you know, my saying that because I'm a big believer in in emotional safety because sometimes being a butterfly just doesn't feel safe sometimes and sometimes I know that having learned disabilities can create can create some of its own social challenges because it just the way we interpret things it's garbage in garbage out so there's a potential to to misread things, and I know that gets my anxiety levels up, so it's easy. It's, I'm guilty of having the sky falling when, when it was just happened to be a, 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 random, a random acorn. So, that said, um, another thing, too, that I wanted to extend to the Turner Center community, I know not all sisters, okay, not all, as Amy Jo Clark would rightly say, but some sisters have problems with drama. Sorry. Some have problems with you know with, with, with speaking up and some just have anxiety and it's just and it's just hard. And that's okay and I understand and that in many cases I've been there. I'm good at it now. But there were certainly times in my life where no <laughs> where it's just easy to run where it's easy to run and hide. So that you know that part I get. Uh, hang on for a second. I'm gonna pull over for a moment. I'm going to straighten this phone out. So, give me a moment. I want it to fall over the creation. So, all right. That works. <laughs> Tech, isn't technology wonderful? But anyway, as, as I was saying, there are some butterflies who just who sometimes are more turtles than, than butterflies and you know, and sometimes given nature you know afraid to you know to come to come out of their to come out of their shells and one thing that I have absolutely no problem and welcome if somebody has trouble coming to me directly maybe because I'm big maybe because I'm imposing maybe because I may have remind you of somebody bad I do I, there's one thing that I will certainly welcome and encourage and I don't have a problem with it, because that's also that's also a sign of a maybe not a brave butterfly, but one that's definitely well on the way. And and I'll, I'll describe why in a moment. But if somebody is not comfortable enough coming to me, or comfortable enough coming to the person they're in conflict, I certainly, at least for me, I can't speak for the rest of the community, but certainly for me, I have no problem if somebody relays a message through through a go, through a go between. And uh, that I'm that I'm perfectly fine with because then I'm not sitting there trying to second guess. I mean, my crystal ball is in the shop. So, uh, 
Okay, give me a second. We'll go across every uh, Columbus's favorite railroad crossing. There we go. But if somebody if somebody relays a message to me, then it's like, oh, okay, great, thank you. I appreciate it. When you feel a little more comfortable talking to me, that's fine. If you need the process, hey, go for it. That's perfect. And I want to tell you that's perfectly fine. You're welcome to do that. You're invited. I mean, I'm not going to take the third party, you know, abuse and that hominem tax. But if you're not comfortable talking to me about an issue and where I've real genuinely maybe crossed the boundary quite instantly, then I and you're not comfortable enough expressing it, going to third person. Eventually, we'd like to get you know, to get together. But if that's the best way you can start, I have absolutely no problem with it. And I'm thinking two, you know, two situations. Now here, I'm going to deliberately change the names to protect the innocent and change locales. Just so fictional, true story, uh, fictional. But we're going to fictionalize it a bit. So Michelle and I actually last summer went down, went down to Tennessee and Georgia to visit relatives, and and then I had a I had a business meeting to to go to. So. We we stopped we stopped in Atlanta to uh, to visit uh, Brenda and and her mom Carolyn and we we met we met at a Crystal Hamburger and on the outskirts of town and, and just just which was which was which was close which was close by and just had that very nice time of fellowship. Well, as is, as is customary, I asked uh, Carolyn she take a picture of uh, Brenda and Michelle and I, which. Which he did, and apparently, all of a sudden, the 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 acquaintance with Brenda all of a sudden quit, uh, just abruptly stopped. And apparently, at first, I thought it was because of the bully. But apparently, what was really going on is evidently I got too close to the sister. Uh, now, admittedly, I went, Michelle and I went back. We looked at the we looked at the picture in question and went, oh. And you know it's you know actually it was kind of it was actually positioned where I was where I left where my left hand had Michelle and I hold, you know holding each other in an appropriate pose and then my my right hand was actually on, was actually propped on a propped on a chair uh, uh, deliberately but apparently the the sister felt too close and, and so that information was really to me said oh okay sure. So, and that's and that's you know that's fine because it also got me thinking about another situation several years ago, where, where, where I think it, I didn't know any better and I didn't know about the issues of boundaries at the time. I sure do now, and, and apparently an, an innocent pose of another sister, another sister and I at, a, at an event could have been in in certainly in. Inadvertently construed as something a little, little more creepy, a little more sinister. When it was such was, you know, was not was not the case, and, and so in that. So now I'm kind of thinking, hmm, did maybe did maybe what was really going on is that maybe that sister years later have a PTSD reaction from it? Because hey, a lot of us have baggage, and that's okay. And a lot of us don't like to be touched. I'm real sensitive to that, you know, to, you know, to that myself. So, so, and it's always a, it's it's hard to to come to somebody in love, and it's hard to say. Although I think, in all fairness, I think that situation was pretty good in some places. And okay, needs a little practice and others. And things. like, hey, any good, any good, and play any good musician or. Any, any good athlete always needs to practice so hey you know that's I guess what's going to happen when you have to play for the for the uh, Columbia South Carolina butterflies and eh, that's okay I just made up just made up the name of the team but which leads me once again let me reiterate on my policy on touch and if I ever cross a boundary you let me know and that's why 95 percent of my communication with TS women is on is on social media email or phone and it, it really, for me, it really helps you know, keep a boundary. I can listen to the situation, and, and it also helps kind of keep me some distance. 
But here's my uh, you know, as as a result of list, lessons learned the hard way. Here's my policies. I do not physically touch a butterfly. Uh, there are a couple of there were a couple of exceptions. A handshake if I'm meeting somebody for the first time is fine. I might if if somebody did something really neat or had a really good victory over struggle or uh, handled something well, I might say, "Hey, can I ask for a high five? And if she's willing, that's hey, we'll do it. Um, and then the only other, then normally I've had an occasion where a sister extended me a hug because she was glad to see me. I wouldn't initiate it, I was, but I was delighted to. And once it kind of, once I quickly figured out, I was delighted to you know, receive a warm embrace like, because it was, hey, Mark, it's great seeing you. Thank you for coming. And that, you know, that, that clearly was was the intention. The only other time that I might, and it's a, again, it's a extremely rare scenario, but if, it, if certainly if a butterfly were in some type of trouble and I had to grab her and get her out of out of harm's way, I would certainly do that. But other than that. Um, I'm ver- I have very strict rules. I do not. Uh, I just do not touch uh, butterflies. Physically touch them. I just. I don't. And because because something could something could easily be you know, it could easily be uh, mis- misconstrued. So I hope that clears. I hope that clears uh, clears things up. And then as far as the other. As far as the two sisters in question, certainly if you want to, you know, hey, I'm happy to make men's if you're not comfortable that, and you want to come back to it later. Hey, that that's perfectly, that's perfectly fine. It's, you know, at least you're aware of the situation. I'm aware of the situation. Take all the time you need to, to, to sort it out. No hurry, no rush. Uh, and just when, when you feel, when you feel up to discussing, that's, you know, that's uh, fine with me. Anyway, I hope that helped. I hope it kind of clears, uh, clears things up. I got to get off to, to a meeting, but I'll talk to you next time.